This is what we use in the garden to uh, to uh, to wrap the, the 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 flowers with. So you take one element of it, not not too too much, to create the body. And the body is done just with that. That was the kind of a shiny material. But be careful because, as you know, it's a kind of fragile material. So you might, if you touch the point, cut very quickly the the material and ruin the the fly. So that was just as simple as that. This material doing that. Now, let me show you the way they were tying at this time. It was kind of a very funny uh, thing, but not not very different from the flies tied by the English people called the spiders. You know, it's uh, just changing one ackle by another. But that was a genius idea, because. <laughs> Uh, actually, I do not know the guy who started with, but I only know the, the people who had been tying those uh, flies commercially in the year 1920. That was uh, Charles Bickel in Valo and Maximilien José about an hour from the other guy. One did not use any tail, and this is La Mouche de Valo, and the other one is Le Moustique du Jura. This is the same principle except that you have a chicken feather, a chicken ackle for the tail. So the idea is pretty simple. You just put the CDC like this and then take that out and you use your ackle plier and then you will uh, wrap around pretty much like a chicken ackle. So at the very beginning it's kind of tricky because you are using the weak section of the stem and as soon as you get further and further you have another problem to face is the fact that the stem is getting thicker and thicker which is not so easy. When you reach about four or five turns which is nearly the maximum that you can do you go like this you cut it like this and then you use your whip finisher push everything backwards create the, the head like this and uh, as you probably see here we, we have a, a, a strange mix of long fibers and short fibers uh, Maybe I show you that like this. You can see here. <coughs> and this is due to the natural shape of the feather. If you take a CDC, you will you will see that you have uh, fibers which are long and short, long and short, long and short. So you say, hey, Mark is using bad CDC. <laughs> no, the big difference between a chicken and a CDC is that the chicken is collecting the oil from this area and using the beak, he, he intend to ruin the, 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 the feathers a little bit and they are not all the bath even. So this is the, the problem with it. Okay? <laughs> so you have something which is not fancy, which is this. Now I will show you the, the trick. To get that everything r nicely round, all around, you have two ways. Whether you are good, actually very good, and you start to go like this <laughs> to make a cylindrical apple. You have to be good, I can tell you. And the easiest way is just to put all the bulbs on front and cut everything at once mm. so that everything got exactly the same length. 